Hi everyone, and welcome to another how-to video from ColorTech Inc. Creative Solutions. Today we'll be discussing how to change your entire document color mode from an RGB color mode to a CMYK color mode in Adobe Illustrator. Later, we will also go over how to change a general swatch color from one color mode to the other. Before we get started, let's briefly talk about the difference between RGB and CMYK. There are many sources online about the technical differences between the two, so we'll link some in the description below. For our video today, we'll keep the explanation simple. More or less, RGB is meant for digital work, while CMYK is meant for printed work. With this in mind, what should you do if your Adobe Illustrator file is in one color mode and you want to change it to the other? Let's get into it. When you open your Illustrator document, take a look at the tab up above. Here in the parentheses, you can see the color mode your document is in. This is quite helpful for us, especially since we now know that this document is not in the color mode we want it to be in. Go to File, and then scroll down here to Document Color Mode. Roll over this, and you will see CMYK color and RGB color. Select the one you want to use, which in this case is CMYK color. Look again at the tab for your document, and you should see that your color mode has changed. Awesome, right? However, this does not mean the elements in your document have changed. You still need to do that separately. Select all of the elements in your document. You can do this by hitting Command plus A on a Mac or Control plus A on a PC. You can also come up here in the Illustrator menu to select and then All. Now click on Edit and scroll down to Edit Colors. Roll over this and then move your mouse down to Convert to CMYK. Now not only will your document be converted to CMYK, but all of your elements in your document will be as well. Now, what if you need to change a general swatch color? Something to keep in mind is that when you initially created your document, you selected your color mode, whether it was for web or print. Your swatch names, as seen here, will match that initial color mode no matter what you change your document color mode to. When you follow the process before, all of your colors will automatically be converted to your new color mode even though their names reflect otherwise. Understandably, this can be confusing. If you want to check and make sure one of your general swatch colors is in the right color mode, here's how you can do it manually. Go to Window, and then scroll down to Swatches. This will bring up the color saved in your document as well as any others you may have saved before. Click on the element of your document you want to check the color of, and this color should be highlighted in your Swatches panel. Double click on this color and a window will pop up. You can see here that despite the name of the swatch displaying an RGB name, its color mode is set correctly to CMYK. To manually change this, click on the menu, and you can then select the color mode you want to use for that element in your document. With that, your Illustrator document should be all set and converted properly to CMYK from RGB. We hope this tutorial has been helpful for you. Thank you for joining us today, and see you next time for our next how-to video.